Hey, so here's a project that I've been working on for the last couple of months. I spent some time in classrooms teaching fifth graders how to program using Lego robotics. And when I had them write down the commands they wanted the robot to complete on a physical piece of paper, they had no problem. But when I wanted them to transfer those commands onto the computer so that they could program the robot, lots of problems came up. So I thought to myself, what if I could create a physical way to program? So I basically combined two technologies. One, this LEGO NXT, the robotics that I use in the classroom, which basically consists of a center console, the brain, and here I have just one simple motor and a light sensor with Siftio cubes. And what these guys are is small cubes that you can push an image to their screen. There's a single button. They can tell their orientation and their relation with other cubes. And so I basically combined this to create an awesome physical way to program. So you basically click the button to toggle through the commands. I have a forward command, a backwards command, a wait command, a stop command, and also using the light sensor, I have a wait for it seeing brighter and a wait for seeing darker. So first, let's write a simple program. Let's make it go forward for two seconds. And how you change the time is you flip over any cube. And on the back, I have a plus symbol and a minus symbol. And then you simply push them together to add time, which you can see in this top corner. Then let's have it go backwards. And as you can see, two seconds. And then after it completes those two commands, let's have it make a sound. So to recap, it should go forward for two seconds, then backwards for two seconds, and then make a sound. And so if you push them in together in the desired order, and then the screen comes up saying click to compile. So when I click it, there you go. Now let's write a little bit more complex program using the light sensor and this piece of white paper. So first, I want it to ha go forward, which is already on that command. And then we're going to have it wait until it sees something brighter. So this command will say, keep doing what it's doing until the light sensor sees a brighter surface. And then, again, we'll have it go backwards for two seconds. So if you put them in a desired order, where it should go forward until it sees something brighter, and then go backwards. Push them together, click to compile. And there you have it. I think this physical way of programming will be far easier for children to pick up and excel at. Thank you.